Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to synchronize your audio with your video. You're going to need to do that from time to time if you record with, say, a field recorder, or in my case, I record a lot of my videos with my Shure SM7B, which is connected to my computer via a preamp and audio interface, and I record separately there to replace the really horrendous audio I get from my uh, camcorder. It's not as complicated of a process as it might seem, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the tools and workflow that I use to make that happen. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro CC, and this is the tool I use to edit all my YouTube videos. I've been using it for a long time. It's a fantastic tool, and in fact, Adobe makes a lot of great products for uh, all sorts of uh, design software products for the web, for audio editing, for publishing. They're fantastic. Check them out. This particular tool, by the way, it costs $19.99 a month if you pay for uh, a year subscription. It is subscription-based. They recently turned to a subscription-based solution. Some people aren't happy with that. Uh, I'm fine with that. It allows me to stay up to date with the latest and greatest software. You'll always have the latest version as a result. It's also the only option they offer. In any event, here I am, and I have two clips here that I want to sync. I have uh, this, which is my video uh, and the corresponding audio that I captured with my camcorder. And then the bottom here is uh, the desired audio. This is the audio I want because I recorded that with my Shure SM7B, and I recorded that separately. Uh, for the purposes of, the purposes of this demo. Now, I'm going to mute the top track because I don't want to hear both at the same time, but I want you to see the problem I'm having right now. Here's the problem that you experience typically. Lights, camera, action. All right, to reiterate, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to replace the horrible audio I get from my camcorder with the improved audio I get with my Shure SM7B. All right, so clearly they're not in sync. And so uh, the clapping that you saw me do over here was not because I was being silly, but typically this is what you'd want to do. You'd want to clap. You'd want to say lights, camera, action, or something like that. You want to clap, and you're going to use those claps. As you can see, they create a unique waveform. So right there is clap number one, clap number two. And I can match those with the ones on the bottom. Here's clap number one, clap number two on my second mic. So I'm going to drag these two so that they're under these two, just like this. I'm going to manually synchronize. And if you're on Sony Vegas or something like that, I don't know if there's a auto synchronization, uh, but if you're on some other tool, um, you might have to do it this way uh, and manually synchronize. And once you have things manually synchronized, as I do, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, play your video. Lights, camera, action. All right, to reiterate, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to replace, and as you can see, everything's nicely synchronized. And from there, you can go and, and clean things up, kind of remove the stuff before that, go to the end of your video segment, and drag that over here as part of the editing process. And now you have a nicely uh, synchronized video. All right, to reiterate, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to replace the horrible, and again, I can, uh, just for kicks, I'm going to switch to the camcorder audio. Audio I get from my camcorder with the improved. And you can see they match really good. All right, they're both muted right now. I'm going to show you one other thing because Adobe Premiere Pro is constantly updating. Uh, they actually have a nice feature and it's auto synchronization. And you'll see in this particular video, I did not, um, I did not, do any clapping. So here's what the video looks like. I'm going to start here because this is my video portion. And I've muted out the um, the audio of that. But uh, I want to hear this audio, but this audio obviously is, is coming in too early. Audio is really important in taking your... So I want to synchronize the two. And the cool, easy way to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro is you're going to like click and then shift click. You want to select both um, tracks. And then you're going to right click up here and you are going to select synchronize and you're going to select audio track one and you're going to watch these these things are going to line up for you automatically when i hit okay and it's that simple to uh synchronize now i'm going to play it back 
audio is really important in taking your production quality to the next level. And just like that, we're synchronized. Really easy to do, uh, really nice. Um, yeah, it's that simple, quite frankly, if you have the right tools, and that's what it all comes down to. If you got the right tools, it's easy to get things done. Anyway, that's all I got. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. As always, I've included a link to Adobe Premiere in the uh, description below. So if you're curious about what this fantastic package has to offer, uh, you can get more information there. And I'll see you next time.